Hello everybody, my name is Just Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft Cold War Tank tutorial. And today we are doing the M4A1 Revalorize. At least I believe that's how you pronounce the uh, second part of its name. In Royal Tanks, this is a tier 8 premium tank. I looked into it, and there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, information on the tank, except for the fact that it is also very similar to the Israeli uh, M51 Super Shuren. But, um, you know, it's... It's um, it's a quite interesting tank. In World of Tanks, it's basically just an M4 Sherman bumped up three tiers with a bigger gun. Well, really, it's a lot more than that, and there's a lot of differences in the tank than it just visually. Like, for example, there's sure there's a passive machine gun right there, but there's no uh, there's no one that sits right behind it, so I'm kind of kind of curious how they would even operate that. Um, the amount of prototypes is unknown on how many of these things were made. They never really entered service at all either. But I just figured the tank looked pretty cool. It's on the World of Tanks console premium store right now, and I figured, what the heck, I'll make it anyway because it's just a pretty cool looking tank. And here's a bit of information. Uh, now I, just, I can delete this little sign right here. That's kind of irrelevant now because I just found out something that contradicted what I just put down. So designed, yeah, couldn't find any info on that. Manufactured, also don't know how like how long it was manufactured from at least how many prototypes there were and how many like how how many prototypes there were and how long they were produced never seen the service at all there's this main armament a 105 millimeter gun and its origin was in France so that's really about it for the tank uh, this is our third ever French tank and I'm glad to finally be finally be adding something new because there's not a whole lot of French tanks we were put in there uh, but here we go here's something else so that's about it let us just get right into the tutorial now so for layer 1 of the tank, we're going to want to have stone brick slab, stone brick stair, nether brick stair, stone slab, nether brick slab, iron trap door, and what we're going to do is we're going to start off by taking our nether brick stair and throwing on the right side of the tank, we're going to be placing down two nether bricks, uh, that's, okay, that's three blocks on. We're going to be placing two nether brick stairs like this, one with the back facing the one in the front, the front of this one facing this one, it's complicated, so here's there's one stair, the first step is closest to the second stair, which is right behind it, okay? The behind it, we're going to reverse it and just do the same thing like that. Then behind it, we're going to put a stone brick slab, and then we're going to put two more nether brick stairs with the backs of the stairs facing the front of the tank, so like that. Behind that, we're going to put an upright stone brick uh, stair right behind that. Then behind that, put a top slab of stone brick. And now we're going to jump over to the left, uh, three blocks, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So, start at the back of the tracks, so, stone brick stair, then stone brick slab, another brick stairs, stone brick slab, more another brick stairs, more another brick stairs, and now on the very front here, we're going to do an upside down stone brick stair on either side. And now, in between these two stone brick stairs, we're going to put another brick stair, I mean, another brick top slab right between each one with the middle space open. Then behind these slabs, we're going to do a row of three nether brick slabs with a iron trap door in this open space right there. Then we can take our stone slab and bring it all the way back to about here, uh, right, like right next to where the last nether brick stair is toward the back, and then just fill up the whole inside right here. I'm just going to say this now. Also, this interior is very cramped as well. You can't really get inside of it either. You can get to the driver's seat, but that's about it. The rest, you're going to have to like, break your way through the tank to even get through. Next, uh, we're going to take our nether brick slabs, and we're going to put a row of three right back here. And then right behind that, in between the stone brick slabs, we're going to do a row of three iron trap doors just like that. And I think that's about it for this layer. Yes, it is. So now we can move on to layer two. So for layer two, we're going to want to have hardened clay. We'll grab that, and we'll grab some tripwire hook, some ladder. And we'll go into here and grab some black wool. So on the back here, what we're gonna do is on top of these, um, on top of this center iron trap door at the back, put a black wool. Then on either side, put a blue hardened clay. And now it, on on the uh, black wall, you're gonna put a wood ladder. Wait, why did I say wood? Just put a ladder. Take a tripwire hook and put it on either side of the ladder on the blue hardened clay. Then on either side of the blue hardened clay, you're going to extend another block like that. That'll do the that'll be the back wheel. 
Then behind those uh, two blocks we just place put an upright stone brick stair with the backs of the stairs facing the front of the tank. And on the, outs on the outsides of the uh, clay we're just going to put a wooden trap door and close it like that on either side. Then we can take our stone brick slab and we're going to take forward from here, the, we'll start on the left side. On the top slab, right in front of the uh, blue hardened clay, go forward one, two top slabs. And then we're going to take our nether brick stair and put an upside down stair with the back facing the rear of the tank. And then put another top slab of uh, stone brick. <coughs> and then put another two, but break the first one that you've placed. And then put a upside down stair, nether brick stair with the back facing the front of the tank. So that the top of the stair should like, for both of these, the top of the stair should be over this little gap on either side. And then put another stone brick sl uh, top slab. Put an upside down another brick stair right in front of it, and then put an upright stone brick stair in front of that. Now we can do that all again on this side. So, slabs, stair, slab, 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 break, stair, another slab, another stair, and then there you go. There's the track systems done for the Sherman. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our nether brick stairs, and in, in this gap of three right here on the front, you're going to put a row of three nether brick stairs just like that. And um, I guess we'll come back to do the interior afterwards, but we'll take our blue hardened clay and we'll just come forward to about here, just do a 3x3 three three square right here in that space and leave the front uh, 15 blocks open like that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And I think, yeah, I think that's about it for this layer. So now we can move on to layer 3. So starting off with layer 3, we're going to start at the back of the tank again. On top of these stone brick stairs, on either side, you're going to put a bottom slab of nether brick. And we'll put a placeholder of... I should just make sure real quick of everything that I'm doing. Okay, so actually what we will do is we'll take our blue hardened clay and we'll do a row of three right here on top of that black wool and these two blue hardened clays. Then we're going to take our nether brick stairs, do an upside down sideways stair here, and then one here with the, with the backs of the stairs facing out left and right like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a stone brick stair and put one in the middle like that so that they curve in just like that. That'll be like the back uh, vent for the engine. Then we can take our nether brick stairs and we can put one, two on either side. One, two. Then on either side, place one with the back facing the front of the tank so that it'll curve like this, just like that and then put a row of six blue hardened clay in that gap right there. Next what we can do is we just take our blue hardened clay and in front of these stairs we're going to do a row of three blue hardened clay like that. And then in front of it we're going to place another nether brick stair with the backs facing the rear of the tank. Curve it toward the front like this. Then we're going to put a nether brick slab, bottom slab in front of those. And we're going to put a row of three nether brick stairs in between it like that. We're gonna put a iron trap door over the front, uh, over the front tracks like that, over the uh, top, over over the um, stone brick stairs. Excuse me. And I think that may also be about it for this lair. Yeah, that's about it. This is seem like this is seeming to be a very simple tank. So now we can move on to lair four. So for lair four, which it should be a simple, fairly simple lair, we'll start at the back of the tank and we'll start on top of the blue hardened clay. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do six uh, iron trap doors right there. We're gonna snatch some blue carpet and then we're gonna do six blue carpet over top of the blue hardened clay and then over top of these stairs at the back. And that really just kinda takes care of the back of the tank already. Then we can take our iron trap door, put an iron trap door here and here on either side. And that should be about it there. Come to the front, well actually we're gonna need a wooden trap door. And I missed one step from last layer, put a uh, another brick top slab right there, right behind the middle stair on the front of the tank. Then we'll put a placeholder in here and here. Place a wooden trap door facing out to the sides like this. Break the placeholders and make sure that they, when they open, they open like this. So for, let's look at it from the front of the tank. The one on our left should open like this and the one on our right should open like that. That's the realistic way that it should be opening. So just make sure that it opens like that if you want to keep it realistic. I also missed the machine gun. So take a dark oak wood fence gate and put a fence gate right here from last layer. That'll be the machine gun. And what we can also do is we can just take our iron trap door and we can do three iron trap doors here. 
so I missed a few steps from last layer actually. So now we can actually continue with the layer that we're on now. We can take our nether brick slabs and put two nether brick slabs on the left and two on the right in those open gaps. And then what we can do is... Sorry, just gotta figure out everything I'm doing. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is take our nether brick stairs and do two stairs like this, I'm thinking, here and here. Am I doing this properly? See, I would, I would think so. I would think so. You know what? I'm just going to go inside real quick so I can see what it is I'm doing. Jump in here. Still can't see. Um. Okay, I see what I have to be doing now. Okay. So, what we actually want to do is they have to be upside down like this. So, we're going to want to have an upside down stair here. Nope, oh, one. There we go. Our placeholder and do one there and curve it like that and that and we're going to want to take our nether brick slabs put a top slab here and here with a upside down I think we did no this is very confusing actually I was like I was saying, supposed to be easy tutorial? Guess not. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, it has to be upside down here in between the slabs with the front, the back of the stair facing the front of the tank. I see what I was doing wrong. If I'm correct, I believe we have to put three upside down stairs like that and actually put two up, put three upright stairs there as well. If I'm correct, we may have to do part of the interior as it is. Alright, jumping to the front here, we're going to do a row of three upside down stairs like that. And on to... Uh, oh goodness, this is confusing. <laughs> There's always one of these tutorials, isn't there? Always one of them. Okay, so for the gun, we're going to take another brick slab and right off the middle part here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block, put a stone slab, and that'll be it for the bat for I think the bottom of the gun right there. And I think that's actually about it for this layer as it is. Just make it take a quick check of everything. That's about it for this layer. So now we can move on to the fifth layer. So for the fifth layer, fifth layer, we're gonna take our blue hardened clay, do six here, put a. Okay, we're going to do a nether, an upside down nether brick stair here in the middle on the back of the turret. And curve one on either side, just like that. Then we're going to put a nether brick slit stair on either side here on the front with the back facing the rear of the tank. Then curve it to the front. Then curve it in like that. And then put a blue hardened clay right there in the middle. Next, we can just take our nether brick slab, put one nether brick slab on top of the gun here. And then an iron trap door in front of that. Put an iron trap door on the end of the gun on top of the stone slab. And then take our blue carpet and just put a blue carpet along the whole, uh, like that whole part of the gun right there that's blank on top. Next, what we can do is we can take our uh, item frame. Let's just grab an item frame here. White stained glass pane and a wooden button. Put a item frame here with a white stained glass paint in it and then place a button on the block not in the item frame on the block right there no nope. there and there and then I'll make the like uh, French symbol that would be on the tanks and I think that's about it for this layer as well so now we can move on to layer six so now for layer six we can take our blue carpet put a blue carpet right here Take our iron trap door, place iron trap door three here, one here, one here, and I think that's about it for those. Next we can take our stone slab and place a stone slab right there for the commander's hatch. Go into our inventory and grab a cobblestone wall, put a cobblestone wall right there. Grab some dark oak wood fence gate and dark oak wood fence. Put a fence on 
put a fence post on top of the stone wall in front of it put a stone a dark oak fence gate and then behind it place another one and then have it open toward the front like that then off the left side of the fence post we're going to take a wither skeleton skull just place it right there no I'm not sure if that particular particularly looks good though well I yeah, just do that. Just put out. If you want to change up the machine gun, you can. But I figured that was the best way I could do it. And that'll be the uh, drum magazine for it. Then we can take our dark oak wood fence and place a fence post on either blank space there on top of the turret. And that is about it for the uh, rev uh, revalorize the M4A1 revalorize. And if you're gonna start running for the uh, tutorial, then uh, thank you. But if you're leaving now then thank you at least for watching and hopefully I'll see you again sometime soon but now let's just begin with the, tutor with the uh, interior so for the interior like I said before there's not going to be a whole lot of room to maneuver inside let me just fix it real quick so first we're going to want chest, chisel stone brick, fence gate, dispenser, wooden trap door so if we head inside we're going to place a wooden trap door right there Put a large chest right there, chisel stone brick there, dark fence gate there, fence, uh, dispenser right there. We're going to take our stone slab, put six stone slabs here, go into our inventory, grab a, where is it, dark oak stair, place two there, one there, break that actually, put a chest there, and on top of it we'll put trap chest. Actually it doesn't matter, it can be a chest as well, I forgot. And then we can take our stone slab, I mean our nether brick slabs, put two here, <coughs> and put a dark oak with stair right there. So, and that's about it for the inside of the uh, M4A1 revalorize. And as I said before, look, no room to move around, you only really have the driver's seat. <coughs> now you can like get into the turret if you break in here, but that's not really going to give you a whole lot of room either. But that is it for the M4A1 Revalorize. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Sure, I had those times where I was messing up during the tutorial, but, you know, I got to still practice. Maybe I'll just start doing scripts or something like that until I can properly get the proper skill to do commentary. But, um, yeah, that's about it. So, for right now, I would appreciate it if you would leave a request, and if not, then I have, another, I have a few other tanks in storage, but that's completely up to you if you want to leave a, you know, request or not. I would appreciate it, but that's about it. So thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Goodbye.